Is that a GoPro? Yeah, it is a GoPro. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back. We are finally free to do what we want. Yes, charities are open, car booths are reopening, theme parks are open, shops are open. <laughs> so it is currently Monday the 12th of April 2021. Isn't that mad to say? 2021, April 12th, we're now free to do as we like, as we please, within reason I suppose, um, yeah, I woke up late, I was supposed to get up at 8 and get to these charity shops at 9, but I laid in until 9 and then looked out the window and it was thick snow everywhere, you wouldn't believe it because there's no snow around anymore, but there was I promise, <laughs> there was snow about two inches thick on the cars. Uh, there wasn't much on the roads, but on the cars there was quite a bit of snow. And I was like, oh, I'm so used to being inside. Maybe I don't really want to go back out anymore. And I was like, no, you have to go out. You have to go. Get in the queue with all the other grannies waiting to go in the charity shop. So that's where I'm going. Yeah. That's where I'm going. Can you believe it? I can't. Oh, madness. Absolute madness. It is cold, I will admit. But, you know, you got to make sacrifices for... Got to make sacrifices for your stock, I suppose. I'm trying to do up my bag. I have my shoulder strap, of course, so I will be strapping you to that. And, uh, yeah, queuing up for... We're going to do the ones in the high street, see how that goes. If we smash through that quickly, if there's no queues basically, then I will jump on the train. It's only like one o'clock. I can get on the train, get into town, do town, get some food and come back, edit. Hopefully I can get this video out for Tuesday. I filmed a video yesterday for Tuesday. I was hoping today's would be out today, but it's not going to happen like that. So. Yeah, I'll probably put this out tomorrow on Tuesday. Yesterday's video will be out Wednesday or Thursday when I'm away at Thorpe Park. And uh, yeah, and then we have car boots to do. But anyway, we're getting close to the road. So if you haven't already, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's go. Is that if I scoot past? Thank you. Cheers. 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 Same games from months ago. <laughs>
Five pounds exactly. Do you need a bag or? No, I'm fine, thank you. Cool. How much was it, sorry? Five pounds. Perfect. Is that a GoPro? Yeah, it is a GoPro. Yeah, it is. We got a little fantastic. When I go home, my brain is still weird about what I want to do it. But I am, I'm normally, that gives me a sense of the thing that I everybody so i am back from the charity shops freedom day number one <laughs> as i like to call it i've went to the shops in the high street and then i went over to town as you would have seen some of the shops i can't film in or the footage isn't that great so i've edited that out uh so i'm going to be showing you what i managed to pick up so yeah we're going to go through some of the stuff so in the first shop i picked up a few bits uh one of which was this disney uh, high quality collections panorama it was 99p um i'm pretty sure i've sold this one before for around eight or nine pounds but i did actually look it up uh and they seem to be going for a little bit less so i'm not really sure what's happened to the price of these they've gone down a little bit so i might just list this for like nine ten pounds and just wait and see if it sells uh because it probably will sell towards christmas uh which is a little bit far away right now but it's always good to have disney puzzles on hand for that um and that should go at some point in the near future what else did we pick up from the first shop we got that ah we got the uh the london olympic games 2012 bbc dvd collection it was 49 pence and uh, this goes for around 12 pound free post on ebay uh, when it's brand new and sealed so not too bad for 49p if i get like nine pounds plus postage uh should be okay so happy with that one uh there wasn't really much in that first shop well to be fair there wasn't really much in most of the shops it seems to be the old stock still uh hopefully once it sells through we'll get the new stuff out um i paid i think i don't know if this has a tag so i'm not really sure how much she charged me for it uh, but this one here was 99p. So this is a uh, dinosaur plush. It's in really nice condition. 
um, 99p, and this was from the Wild Republic, which I'm not really sure what that is, but pretty cool. Not Jurassic Park merch, unfortunately, uh, but that should go for around eight, ten pounds, something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, this, however, is uh, from Shrek uh, DreamWorks. I'm not sure whether this is from the park or where this is from, but 2004. Uh, this is Donkey from Shrek. Oh, it was Donkey, and then he landed on the floor. Yeah, Donkey from Shrek. Pretty cool. Um, hopefully that goes for a little bit. Uh, and the last thing we got in that first charity shop was this espresso set. They had two of these. One was already used, and it was on like a little stand or whatever. Um, and I didn't really want to deal with it. So I got this one, which I thought was brand new. But looking at it now, this one here actually has a little bit of a chip. So I'm not sure whether this actually is brand new or whether this has just been reboxed. Um, so I'll have to take a look at that. I might just throw away that one and maybe just sell it as a five set out of the box. I'm not sure. That chip is unfortunate, but yeah, I can probably get my money back on that. Uh, yeah, if it didn't have that chip, that would probably have been like 15, maybe 20 pounds for that set. I'm not sure exactly, I'm kind of just making up that price, but from what I've sold them for in the past, um, let's not stand that up like that, uh, that is probably what I was looking for. Uh, in the last shop I went into today, I picked up this Mastermind, this is Super Mastermind, this goes for around £18, and I paid £2 for this, uh, so that's really nice, you get about 18 plus postage, so that was a good one. Uh, we picked up a few plush in one of the cherry shops that I don't think I edited into the video. Uh, this is a Disneyland or Disney World um, Pluto. Oh, my mind went blank, blank then for a second. Uh, so that one, and I got this really old uh, Winnie the Pooh. I believe this is from, does it have a date on it? I think it does have a date somewhere. 1997 so yeah that's 24 years old something like that maths is not my forte uh, and i also picked up this uh mini mouse um which is a stamped she has the stamp disney stamp on her foot it's in really nice condition i'm not sure what this is worth but i paid pretty much pennies for it in that shop it really didn't cost me much uh, Disney Baby, it says, uh, doesn't have a date on there as far as I can tell. Um, but yeah, that should go for maybe £10, something like that. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. And then I got two Rust Bears. These were £1 each. So these are, uh, really nice bears. Um, they don't have too much value, around the £10 mark-ish, I believe. Um, and I got two of them. As you can see, they are jointed, so yeah, pretty nice. As you would have seen in the video, I did get these uh, Harry Potter books. So I got uh, Order of the Phoenix, that one was two pounds. That was hardback, missing the uh, sleeve, unfortunately. Uh, I got Philosopher's Stone, hardback again. This one does have the sleeve. Um, and this one is uh, the winner of the Smarties Gold Award. I'm not sure if it's first edition. I didn't check any of these. It's not, um, but yeah. And then I got this one, which is uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm pretty sure I got one missing. Um, there should be another one somewhere. I have no idea where that's gone. Um, okay, probably still in my bag somewhere. Uh, but I had the paperback for uh, Chamber of Secrets, I think, as well. Uh, but yeah, we got hardback uh, Prisoner of Azkaban here as well. Again, I don't think any of these are first edition because they do check in that shop. But it's nice to have them uh, because you can put them into a set if you uh, get the whole set and then they go for quite a good price. And then I picked up this uh, little, I don't really know what this is, for jewellery or something. Uh, but it has a little compartment. So I was thinking that if I get stuff that's small, I can store it in here with a nice little numbering system. And it'll be easier for me to uh, to find them in the future, like when I sell it. So as you will see, it's got all these little compartments in. One of them actually has a pair of uh, earrings in. Um, they look gold, but I don't think 
that they would have left a pair of gold earrings in there. Uh, I will check. Um, I don't really like selling used earrings. It's kind of gross, but there we go. Uh, but yeah, all these little compartments. If I ever get anything small, like maybe Lego bits or something, uh, then they can go in there, store away quite nicely. Um, yeah. And what else did we get? Oh, we got two mugs. Now, I saw this central perk, and I thought, oh, this is from Friends. So I picked that up. And then I realized that someone's just paid a company to print that logo onto a cheap mug. Uh, so that's pretty much worthless, unfortunately. Uh, but I did get this Disney mug. Adults are only uh, kids grown up anyway. And this is a uh, limited edition mug, I think, from Clinton's. Clinton's Cards. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then the last thing I got were these little pins. As you guys know, I do like pins. Um, and they were 50 pence each. I paid a few, pit, few quid for these um, little pins, but they're made of wood, so they're pretty cool. Uh, little retro robots, as you will see. Uh, yeah, I thought they were pretty cool. Um, two golds, two greens, two greys, these weird blue ones and a red one. Um, yeah. So someone's obviously had them made and then they haven't sold in their shop or whatever and they've donated them in the end. But yeah, that is everything that I managed to pick up today. So not a fantastic amount of stuff, uh, but I had fun. It was nice to get out, go and uh, visit the charity shops again. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that within the next week or so, a lot of the old stock will have been cycled through and there should hopefully be some nice fresh stuff uh, for me to find. Uh, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Hopefully there will be a car boot video very, very shortly on the channel. So please do remember to, to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.